Hi there, welcome to the new video. Today we'll be going to this very interesting paper which is titled as BERT QE, Contextualized Query Expansion for Documentary Ranking. It's from researchers from University of Chinese Academy of Sciences, Amazon Alexa, Institute of Software Chinese Academy of Sciences, and Max Planck Institute of Informatics. So this paper came out in November 2020. So let's start with the abstract. Query expansion aims to mitigate the mismatch between the language used in the query and in the document. So yeah, query expansion is one of the common approaches used in the area of information retrieval, where the task is to improve the hit rate of fetching any document from the database for a given query. And query expansion can help in augmenting the given query with relevant keywords for achieving better performance. So this paper essentially talks about using BERT, which is a contextualized model, for extracting and ranking the relevant chunks from the documents as possible augmentations for the query and then selecting the documents based on the new retrieval scores. So authors say like because they're using BERT model for getting the relevant chunks that could be appended to the given query. So the chances are very high, like the things that you will be appending to the query would be semantically similar and will convey the same things. Unlike previous methods that usually suffer from introducing non-relevant information when expanding the query, because of which you will have high false positives. Because if you append something that is not relevant to the given query, you'll be fetching the documents that are again not relevant, which is like you are saying them to be positive, but they are actually false. So that's why the false positive increases. Okay, let's move forward. In this section, we describe BERT QE, which takes a ranked list of documents as input, example from some unsupervised ranking model, and outputs the ranked list based on the expanded query. Okay. So in this paper, they essentially use BM25 as one of the base models that basically calculates the score between every word and document, which basically is a retrieval function that returns set of documents based on the query terms that appear for every document. So it's somewhat similar to TF-IDF, but it has different way of how it calculates things. So the pipeline essentially goes, let's say you have a query queue via BM25 algorithm. It basically searches for the entire database and returns a list of N documents ranked based on the relevancy score. So once you have this first level of search scores, all of that list goes to BERT QE, and then the re-ranking is performed on the set based on the expanded query. So let's see to how we expand query now. So they develop the entire pipeline in three phases, where the first phase is about using BERT model to re-rank the documents for a given query. So this is the equation that represents that. So you have the fine-tuned BERT model. You pass it the query queue for which you are trying to retrieve the documents. This is an instant of a document and you get some sort of a relevancy score between the query and the document. So as I said, this BERT is fine-tuned model. So let's see to how they, they fine-tune this. They use the BERT large model and initialized it using the checkpoint that was trained on MS Marco. So this is again one of the data sets from Microsoft, I believe, wherein you have the query and the list of passages. And against every passage, you have a label of zero or one, telling if the answer was found for a given query in this passage or not. So that way you have a Boolean label against each passage and that was the objective function on which the model had to optimize. So they initialized the model with that checkpoint and then fine tuned the model on robust O4 data set. And the loss that they use is defined by this equation where IPOS is nothing but the positive sentences or the indices of the positive sentences and I negative for the negative. So if a sentence is said to be let's say 0.9 as positive. So if you put it over here, you'll find the log value to 10 to zero. And eventually if it's negative, let's say, then if pi is tending to zero, then the entire function of log of one minus pi will also tend to zero. So that way you are kind of minimizing the loss for each of the positive as well as the negative samples. Okay. So yeah, once that training is done, things are pretty much similar to how the initial objective of NSP was also trained, where you would kind of stuff in the two sentences and model is supposed to say whether these two sentences follow each other or not. So you would utilize the CLS vector and do the prediction at that point. Similarly here also you concatenate Q and the document D and find that kind of a score which they title as relevancy score. I think they have a image for this as well. No. Okay. So this is for the second phase. Okay. So now talking about the second phase, they basically do a chunk selection from the ranked documents that you've got from the phase one. So if you see phase one would have returned the relevancy score for each document. So you already have a ranked list at this point. So this goes to the second phase where you have the top key documents already. Now from these documents, you wish to extract some relevant chunks based on a sliding window that spans over M words 
and decomposes a document into let's say k number of segments and they also made sure like the window is overlapping so that you capture context within the previous window as well so that's why the stride is of m by 2 words so let's say we have six words and the window length is 2 which means m is equal to 2 so you'll be doing a stride of 1 which is more or less like you'll be traversing the bigram sequences so once you have these k number of sequences across all the documents that you have fished using phase 1 they use the same fine tuned bert model to score each of this individual chunk and extract top k chunks that have the highest scores so this way they basically create a list of all the chunks which are important so this is again the same equation where you have the pre-trained bert model you pass in the query and let's say after rolling the sliding window with a stride length of m by 2 where m is the window length you got 10 chunks so you calculate the relevancy score for query and each of the chunks that you have so this way you get a sense of which chunk is more relevant to the given query across all the top kd documents that you have so they have shown this in the figure as well so let's say you have a query q and these are all the initial documents that you had based on the search results of bm25 you apply the bird model and now you have top kd documents you use these documents to get kc number of chunks then you find relevancy of query and each of the kc chunk using the pre-trained bird model and have a list of top kc chunks by reordering them based on the relevancy score so this is what they have done so this essentially represents phase one and getting top kc chunks is what phase two outputs let's see the what phase three is in phase three they essentially calculate the relevance score between every document and kc chunks that is the output from phase two so this goes with the formula that is mentioned over here so here this capital c denotes the set of all the chunks that we got from phase two so for every chunk you calculate the relevance score between every chunk and query and then convert it into a bound from zero to one by applying a softmax so this becomes your weight to the relevance score that you calculate between that chunk and the document d and this basically you do it over all the chunks that you have so that way this becomes a weighted sum that you calculate and once you have this the final scoring function what they calculate is if you have a query q and a chunk set c and the document d the relevance would be calculated as 1 minus alpha of relevance between the query and the document plus alpha times the relevance between the chunk set and the document so now here alpha is kind of a trade-off parameter which lets you give relative importance to each of these segments so here if you see if alpha is equal to 0 then this term goes off you have just rel of q comma d which means you're considering the output from the phase one only and you are discarding all the expansions all the chunks that you have found out whereas if alpha is equal to 1 let's say then this thing goes off and you're just relying on all the chunks that you have calculated and its similarity with the document d so yeah this way you can kind of control or enhance the effect of the chunks that you have and use that while retrieving the documents okay let's move forward okay so now they have experiments and results so let's recap the entire pipeline we have a query queue against which someone wants to know the list of documents we pass this through some initial unsupervised learning algorithm let's say bm25 so this would return a ranked list of all the documents once we have this list we apply query and each of the documents to calculate a newer re-ranked score which is again based on the fine-tuned bird that we have already discussed on this we apply a windowing technique of dividing into relevant number of chunks that has a size of m words let's call this set ck so for each of the chunk we again calculate its similarity with each of the document that way we get to know how relevant is a chunk for any given document so the rel of c of i for given d is again the fine-tuned bird that we used to which we pass that chunk ci and the relevant document d and this is done for all the i's that you have in that set of ck and eventually you will have a relevance of capital c which is the entire chunk for that document d and also all of these relevance are weighted by how similar a chunk is to the given query so that way you can put it as rel of ci given q so that way you also capture how relevant a query is to a given chunk multiplied by how relevant a chunk is to a given document so that way you kind of do a weighted summation and get rel of capital c comma d and once you have all of these matrices you calculate relevance of given query for expansion set of c for any given document d should be what so this is nothing but alpha times relevance between query and d 
plus 1 minus alpha times relevance between this capital C and D that you have calculated. So yeah, this is how the entire thing goes and we have seen the intuition behind if alpha varies by how much then what's the impact going to happen. So yeah, that's it I guess for this paper. So I had also reviewed one of the papers in the earlier videos that talked about query expansion. I'll put that in the i button, make sure to check that out as well. That's also a very interesting read. Having said that, if you like such content, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and share it across with your friends to whosoever interested in such content. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.